Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Excel Club and welcome to another Excel video. In today's video, we are going to explore a number of ways that you can prevent a user from scrolling around a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet. Now this is extremely useful if you have created apps or dashboards in Excel and you want to lock in the scroll area so that the user doesn't exactly lose the dashboard. Let me show you exactly what I mean. I have a dashboard here and if we select cell A1 and we press control and right arrow, we can jump to the very far side of the workbook. Control down arrow will allow us to jump to the very bottom of the workbook. Now by doing this, if a user over scrolls in error and they're using, working on an app or a dashboard, they can lose sight or lose visibility of this. So very often those developing apps and dashboards in Excel are going to want to lock the scroll area, the screen scroll area. Now, before we get stuck into this video, I do hope that you will subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. If you find this video useful, I do hope that you will give it the big thumbs up and share it across your social profiles. There is a blog post to go along with this video tutorial. Find a link in the comments below. And we're going to have a quick look at a little bit of VBA code as one of the solutions to this. And you'll find a copy of that VBA code over on the website. So do hop over and take a look. So let's get stuck in now and see how can we lock the scroll of this worksheet so that the user doesn't lose visibility of the dashboard. Well, the first method I'm going to show you is going to be by hiding columns and hiding rows and then protecting your workbook. Now, we can do two things with worksheet protection. Let me go into our protection. So if we go into review and protect sheet. In protect sheet, the first option, select locked cells, will allow user to select cells that are locked. Now, if this is unticked, a user can select any of these cells that don't have a dashboard and scroll too far away from the actual dashboard. So I'm going to go back in here to my review and I'm going to unprotect the sheet and then I'm going to re-protect the sheet. Now what you can do is remove the tick from select locked items. And by removing this tick, the user isn't able to select these cells over here anymore. So can no longer scroll across away from the dashboard. Now often with the protection with workbook and worksheet protection, you can also hide rows and hide columns. So let me just go back in here and unprotect the sheet. And this time what we're going to do is we are going to select all of the columns that contains no data that's to the right of the dashboard and we're going to select hide. Now by selecting hide, without even having the worksheet protection on, we can see that the user is not able to click away from the dashboard here. Now, we'd also do this with the rows below the dashboard. Now, if we click onto the far left of the dashboard and press control and right arrow, we only go as far as the active cells, the cells that are there. Now, to protect this structure, again, then you would use your review and you would protect your worksheet. And this then would lock the worksheet and not allow people to unhide the rows and the columns without having to unprotect the sheet first. So that is option number one. Option number two is to remove the actual scroll bars. So we see we have these scroll bars here. And what we're gonna do is we are going to unhide everything that we had hidden. And to get into the scroll, to remove the actual scrolls, we need to go into the advanced options in Excel. So to do this, file, options, and in options, you're going to go into advanced. Then in advanced, you are going to scroll down until you find display options for this workbook. Then you can remove show horizontal scroll bar and show vertical scroll bar. Now what this does is it actually removes the scroll bars from the spreadsheet. So the user can't use the scroll bars anymore. Now unfortunately they can still use the keyboard and scroll away from the item with the keyboard but you can combine this with hiding rows and with workbook protection. Now I'm going to turn these back on and then we are going to look at our final option and our final option is a VBA option. 
Now, like I mentioned at the start of this video, there is a article to go along with this video. And if you hop over there, you'll be able to take a copy of this code. To do this, we must first make sure our developer ribbon is turned on. To turn on our developer ribbon, if we go to file, in file, go to options, inner options, customize ribbon. And then you need to, on your main tab, ensure that the developer tab is turned on. Once the developer tab is turned on, you can go to your Visual Basics editor screen. And it's in here that we need to paste the code that you will have copied from the website. So you will say insert and insert module, and then you will paste the code that, as I said, you've copied from the website and you'll find a link below the post for that. Now I'm locking in certain cells. So cell A1 to U40 are the cells that I have locked in here now with this macro. So once our macro is in, we can return to our Excel sheet. We can see at the moment we can still select, we can still scroll across where we don't want to scroll across. But if we go to developer, in developer, go to macros, run our macro. Now remember we locked from you, so we should be able to select you, but we can select anything further than you. And if we go down, we can't go down any further than 38. And by using VBA, we've now locked these values in. Now, if we go back into developer, just let me show you something here in developer. On the worksheet, if you now go to properties, under the properties, we see this scroll area and our scroll area has now been locked in here. You can delete this from here. And if you delete this from here, it removes the, what, the lock area that the macro actually put in place. And you can manually put in your scroll area here. What I do find though is when you manually put your scroll area in here and when you come out of it, close your workbook and reopen your workbook and it's all being done manually, you may lose the values that are in here. So doing it by macro or doing it by the other methods that we've looked at in this video might work out better for you. So that is how you can lock the screen scroll in Excel. I really do hope that you found this video to be of value. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it across your social profiles. Until next time, goodbye now.